Headliners Team 2 has dropped and with it has come a pretty cool objective card. It is a Headliners Zakaria and to get this guy it's actually really really simple for most part. You are going to have to play 10 games though and you're going to have to score in each of them but look it's 7 o'clock and I've got this objective done without like even trying and that's not me saying oh I'm good at FIFA because I'm not that's just how easy this objective is and a lot of people do just quit at 1-0 which is nice. Anyway in them 10 games you got to win 4 which you'll do naturally you've got to assist five goals via crosses which is probably the one that will take you the most time but you're likely to come up against someone who will help you with that that's what happened to me and then in those 10 games score using a cdm um, in a win which once again is very very easy so uh yeah this card looks like excellent value for time if you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So with the objectives all being done, we now have a very nice item coming in to the club. And, like, the card already looks very, very good. Like, it's a live item, it could get better, and it could just get absolutely ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, are you completing this objective? And if you're not, let me know why. Why are you not doing it? So this is going to be the team we're going to use him in. Nice little hybrid going on right here. And obviously the hyperlink to Embola is also really, really nice. Anywho, this is the card. We're purposely going to play the 4-4-2-2 because that allows us to start him in a CDM rule. But because of his high attacking work rate, it also allows us to get him into good areas as well. Because obviously there'll be a lot of space in front of him in the gap between him and the strikers. Anyway, let's have a look. High medium, 6 free, 3 star, 3 star, no traits to discuss, but some very good in-game stats, especially in that physical section where we can see premium strength and very good aggression. So I'm hoping that his ability to win back the ball is going to be really, really good. Um, in terms of defending, there's also some really nice stats. Head and accuracy isn't the best, but everything else is pretty good. Um, dribbling for a CDM, not too bad. Good composure um, and pretty nice reactions as well. And then the passing, the short passing rating of 89 is really good. A uh, long passing of 82, not too bad either. Also has 86 shot power, so hopefully he can be a threat um, in terms of that as well. But um, obviously with him being a defensive mid, that's not going to be a priority. One of the main positives though is obviously going to be that 90 sprint speed, which is going to hopefully help him when coming forward with the ball and when tracking back without it. So when we're talking about chem style, what are we thinking with this card? I think it's one of them where it comes down to where you want to play him. If you want to use him as a DM, I would recommend Shadow. Max out those defensive stats because his physical is already insane and give him the best pace possible. But if you want to use him more as a centre mid, Engine could be the one. Boosts up his passing, brings his pace up nicely too, and also brings up his dribbling as well, which will definitely aid him in that centre mid role. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. CDM, Shadow, centre mid, Engine. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Game number one then for Zakaria and we Oh, wow, we're up against R9. I mean, it's the perfect test, right? Him and Alessandrini, two absolutely brilliant strikers. Nice intercept there from Zakaria. Completely an AI intercept as well. So far, so good. Zakaria goes for the long ball, hoping Mbola can chase it down and get on the end of it, but Koza deals with it well. Yeah, penned in at the minute, but Zakaria with a good disposition there on the edge of the box. Carrier, tight angle. Oh, I just didn't get enough hold of the shot. Nice reaching interception there. We're charging down. We're pressuring high up the field with the midfield. Shortly after half time in this game, we scored straight away after the break from a corner. So uh, we forced a rage quit. Gritzy. I thought Zakaria did quite well on debut. Nothing too fancy, but ultimately his job isn't fancy. It's to win back the ball and get us going forward. And um, he did that to a decent standard in that match. Come on then, game two, and it's it's this team. Very, very interesting. Brand new record breaker, Edouard, in there as well. Ball is just ping-ponging everywhere at the minute. Can we find the break? That's a very nice through ball into the path of Martinelli. And from the chaos, we've now got a chance to score. Go to the back stick. Petit, green town finish, and it's a great goal. What a way to start this game. Nice. The carrier into Mbolo. And he is choosing not to come back. He's focused on a Bamiyang, and just like that, it's 2 0. And just like that, the game's over. So, uh, yeah, that was a good one. Swiftly into game number three, we go then. And we are up against Eusebio and Mbappe. But to be honest, the player I fear most in the opposition team is actually Guendouzi, because that card is ridiculously good. If you haven't used it yet, 
Highly recommend it. He's recently become extremely popular, and with good reason. He's class. Babu delivers into the back stick. Where's the carrier is? Wins the header, actually, but uh, check saves. Babu once again delivering to the back stick. Zakaria this time does not win the header. Can we get the shot away with him? No. I tried to turn and just... Uh, Varane was just too close. Nice. Good position in there. Reaches out for a good intercept. Nice. Oh, I mean, both CDMs teaming up there to make sure we came over possession. Carrier sees the run of Mbola, whose touch is actually very good in the end, and it's a very good goal from him as well. Slams it home past Petacek. It's a carrier. Another good through ball in behind. Can we get on the end of this one? You bet we can. Look at back here. Tries to get it across the box, but sadly does not find Mbola with the return. Just a break now. The carrier spreads it wide to Martinelli. He's got a bit of pace on him. Transfer the carrier now to switch player. Does nicely to Martinelli, who's going to get past Hakimi. Left-footed cross into the box. Sadly, nobody's home. Oh, the carrier. Oh, I mean, the dribbling didn't feel too amazing there. The touch was heavy. We were holding sprint, but that was just out of control from everyone. The carrier does well to get the ball out of his feet and puts through a really nice long ball there for Hakimi. Uh, Martinelli, but he gets wiped out by Hikimi. And there's half time. Sadly, at the break, we trail it to one big error from Petit, and uh, yeah, he got back into it. Nice from Zakaria, closing down in back there, just on the edge of the box. Zakaria, chance to spread play now. We saw Martinelli free up top, and we will make the most of it, or at least attempt to. By footed balling from Martinelli. Oh, it was a good ball, but just didn't make the most of it. Oh, what? Well, the game just disconnected. That's unfortunate. We were losing 3-1, but um, EA servers say no. I disconnected? What? Well, obviously not ideal to end that game that way, but it is what it is. We've had quite a bit of game time now with Zakaria, so let's discuss this card. Straight away, I'll say it's a card which you should definitely unlock. The ease of unlock is just ridiculous and the fact that it's you know pretty much a free 86 rated card i just think means you've got to do it you've got to get it done even if you don't run with a bundesliga squad chuck him in an spc if you don't want to use him but just get the unlock done because why not um, and in terms of usability he is certainly up there it's a good card and if you're on a bundesliga team it's definitely an item that could slot into your side now i'll say straight away I wasn't too big on the dribbling on this card. That's obviously where this item differs a lot versus the uh, Rule Breakers item that was released. And um, yeah, dribbling wasn't the best. But where this guy did excel is definitely in those physical sections because in-game, he does feel very strong. And defensively, in one-on-one -on -one situations, he is very solid. So that is obviously really, really pleasing. In terms of his passing ability, I think you saw in the footage that it's actually quite good. The guy can certainly put through a good through ball and his short passing game certainly isn't too bad either. So he can distribute from deep which is obviously great now in regards to his pace I do have to say he didn't quite feel as quick as maybe I expected him to he definitely didn't feel slow but it definitely does take him a yard or two to get to that max speed and I've said the word definitely way too much in regards to his positioning um, he's, he's solid for the most part considering he had high medium work rates he sat back and defended for me in the formation I was in, so I'm happy with that. And that was without any instructions as well. But I will say, if you're going to use him as a lone DM, definitely would advise instructions on him. But um, yeah, all in all, as a defensive mid, I think he's a pretty solid option, especially in a two CDM formation where you can have one sit back and one go forward. Anyway, let me pull up a Bundesliga centre mid options just so we can do um, some comparisons. As a CDM, who am I using this guy over? Quite a lot, to be honest. There isn't too many I would use over him, but one that I would use over him, and I'll say straight away, is Goretzka, because I just love that card in this year's game. It's just so OP no matter where you use him, either as a centre mid or as a CDM. I just think Goretzka is all class this year. But um, yeah, over the others, I feel like I pick this uh, Zakaria card. And what is obviously fantastic is the fact that this card is free, and literally all the other options that are available do cost money. So um yeah, this card just gets a thumbs up from me. I think it is, you know, very good value for your time. Notice I didn't say value for money. 
Um, so yeah, get it done. And once you've got it done, let me know in the comments how you get on with it. Finally, in comparison to the Rule Breakers card, if you want a centre mid, I kind of like the Rule Breakers one a bit more just because of the dribbling boost. But in every other area, obviously this Headliners version is better. So if you want a CDM or a centre back, Headliners is definitely the one. And I would put the Shadow Kemp style on him as well. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the brand new headliner Zakaria. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one.